You will all need to complete an assignment of inputting information into our school district onto the map so that everyone can look it up at ease. What kind of information should we input then? Oh, let's put details of the nearby tuck shop selling seal my onto the map. I want to mark the locations of used clothes recycling bins. In that case, I know where to donate my old clothes to those in need. Nice idea. Don't we have to measure the air quality near our school? Let's feed it in as well. But how exactly do we input information onto the map? I know. Mark it on the map using color pencils. Just like what I am doing. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> not exactly. It is actually quite easy to turn real-world information into spatial data for the sake of feeding it to the map, as we have a handy tool to help us out. It is the geotagging tool. Let me show you how to add geotags to data. You can pin the location on the map directly and input relevant information. For instance, if you want to tag a tuck shop, you will first need to find the exact store location on the map. Then you input the store information. Easy. However, let's say you have several locations to tag. You will probably find it time consuming to tag it one by one. In such a case, you may try out the auto tagging function. First, compile a list of data regarding the used closed recycling bins. Then export a CSV text file and upload it to the platform. The system will automatically tag the geolocations on the map for you. Also, when we use a detector to collect air quality data, latitudes and longitudes will be recorded as well. Simply export a text file and upload it to the platform. The system will then feed the collected data to the map automatically. What's more, both latitudes and longitudes will be converted into the format of the Hong Kong 1980 grid. With the above three ways available for use, inputting geolocations onto the map is just a piece of cake. It seems that the geotagging tool has saved us all. We will surely nail the assignment. <laughs>